All right, Bradley. Well, the Bozeman Foundation annual Halloween festivity is upon us. You've got the uh, costume and casino night. So you added a little extra something to it this year. So tell me uh, just what folks can expect this year that are that are coming out. Yeah, we added a little, a little new flavor to it. So uh, we're, we'll be at Fahrenheit. Uh, this is a rooftop at um, downtown uh, Charlotte. So we'll have a casino night along with our Halloween party. So there'll be great prizes there um, to be able to bid on and to bet on. Uh, so everyone with your ticket, you get a $50 buy-in and then those tickets correlate into, um, raffle tickets. So every $10 correlates to one. So there's a sweet tick. There's sweet tickets. There's Morgan Wallen tickets. There's, um, you know, a lot of great prizes and, you know, it'll be, it'll be a great time. So it gives people some stuff to do, some reason to spend a little money and all that, all that money goes back to the Bradley Nikki Bozeman foundation, uh, for our sink snack boxes. Uh, and why Halloween? Like, why is that an event that you ca- you guys kind of circle on the calendar to say, okay, we want to use Halloween as a way to, to have some fun, but to raise some funds as well? Uh, it's, I don't In Baltimore, we started it for our first time. Our, I think it was our second year in the league. Um, and, you know, we just we saw it as a great opportunity to, it's the middle of the season, you know, get, give guys a little bit of a break too and get out, go have some fun. Um, you know, every, everyone loves Halloween. Everyone loves a good costume party. So, um, you know, everyone does their Christmas galas and all the other stuff. So we're, we're, we're big into Halloween. So we, we decided to go that route. Um, and it's always been a real big success for us. And that's our only, uh, true fundraiser of the year. So it's our biggest fundraiser and, you know, we're, we're just really excited to, to make this our fourth annual. So. Yeah, and, and obviously last year you you introduced it to the Queen City uh, at Fahrenheit, as you mentioned, with, you know, obviously the awesome view and an awesome hospitality there in uh, in Uptown. But you had so many teammates come out. What does it mean when you say, hey, guys, we're doing this event. We'd really love for you to come out and have some fun, but also just support us in our mission as well. So, you know, how much does it mean to know that they're going to come out and support you again this year? Oh, it's always great. You know, I, I'm, I'm very blessed to have such amazing teammates that always support, always come out in their free time, you know, whenever it's it's time for them to spend with their family or recovering or whatever it may be to come out and use that time to to be with us, to help our foundation. And it's always so great. And we have such an amazing team here um, that just rallies around the community and rallies around each other. So uh, we're just so blessed to be here in Charlotte and have have the support and the teammates and the coaching and everything that we have here. And, you know, we've talked about it a, a number of times, but you and Nikki never hesitated to to jump into the community and, and start giving back and, and doing all the good stuff that we see you guys do here. Um, you know, what about this event in particular maybe means something a little bit more than maybe the other events that you can do? And, and how do you I know you said the funds are going to go back to obviously your foundation and, and how you're giving back in that way. But, you know, what would be like the ultimate goal from from this event? Um, ultimate goal is just to raise as much money as possible. Um, you know, we've all this money, we're a hundred percent. It goes back to these things, snack boxes, back to resources for kids. Um, nothing, nothing goes back to us. No, nothing goes to paying anyone. Everyone works pro bono. Nikki does everything pro bono. So it's, um, you know, everything goes back to these kids and we've been able to expand into Mint Hill and into the, um, with second harvest into the kids cafes. Um, and so it's been such an amazing, uh, amazing thing to be able to start to expanding more and more. And then hopefully we can just continue to, uh, to broaden that out even more. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So you and Nikki are pros at coming up with a, a family theme for the Bozeman's for Halloween. I know you can't tell me what you're going to be because it's a surprise, but like what goes into putting the costume together for you guys? Yeah. So actually we're not holding back this year with a surprise. So oh. we're, uh, Okay. We're actually we're gonna be Woody and uh, Bo Peep. So, um, <laughs> Love you know, it. and then and then Brody will be a little sheep. Unfortunately, he's not able to come to the event, but uh, but you know, for Halloween he'll be a, he'll be a sheep. So, uh, but it's it's twenty one and over the party, so uh, he won't be able to attend. But it's gonna be an amazing event. And, uh, we're, we've already got our costumes, and we're we're ready to go. I love that. See, the new addition just playing a, a part in the in the night as well, even though he won't be at the party, but I'm sure there'll be lots of uh, photos beforehand of you guys. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and I know because I came last year, obviously there's a costume contest usually. I think last year, was it like a T-Rex or a giraffe or something? I feel like got in there and just, you know, stole the show and, and won. But, you know, what, uh, I guess... Um, maybe some advice for folks that are trying to put together a costume, maybe take home that prize of, of winning the costume contest and still on the night. What advice would you and Nikki give them? 
ah, uh, you know, the, the more outgoing, the more, the more outgoing, the better, you know, just, just go all out, have fun with it. Who cares what you look like? Uh, you know, it, it's going to, it's going to be amazing. So just, just come in with some confidence. Uh, you know, you might, it might be a dance competition this year again, or it might be just pure costume. So you just never know. You'll have to be prepared. Yeah, I love it, right? Confidence is key, though, in anything. So, absolutely. And then, and then adding in the casino aspect, um, just kind of what made you guys decide, hey, let's throw that in as part of this event as well? Yeah, so it, it's just we saw it as something that would be really great for everyone to be able to enjoy, you know, because at these parties, you know, you, you get to hang out, you talk, you dance, all that. Uh, but after that, it's kind of you kind of just stand around. So, we'll give people a reason to to go spend some money to be able to give back to the cause and have some fun doing it so i know all the guys will be on the on the blackjack tables and and everything else and uh so there's some great prizes this year and so excited uh for everyone to get out tickets are selling out so you need to get them soon is is there a a, a casino game that's like your go-to or, or nikki's go-to what do the bozeman's go for when it comes to uh, I love craps. I love playing craps. So that and blackjack is kind of our go-to thing that he likes a little roulette every now and then. But uh, but she's 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 a card shark now in the in blackjack. So that's usually her game. So okay, I love to hear it. Anything um, I should have asked or you want to share just about the event? I like I said, I know it's it's awesome. It's great. I got to experience it last year. I'm super pumped. You guys are bringing it back and uh, excited for the addition of the casino aspect as well. Yeah, just uh, tickets are on sale at bozemancharity.com or any of our uh, Instagram, Twitter, social media platforms. Uh, you can find it on there. I think there's a, about 100 tickets left, so make yeah. sure to get on there and, and get them soon because I'm sure they'll be sold out by the, by the time it gets here. So. 